Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Campi Flegri Super Volcano update Sunday, November 14th, around noontime, Mountain Time, 2021. Campi Flegri Volcano in Italy. Micro seismic activity picks up. Another weak seismic swarm is in progress under Europe's most active caldera. Since yesterday, 12 earthquakes have occurred at a shallow depth mostly around two kilometers under the ground since yesterday. None of the quakes was strong enough to be felt, but the very sensitive monitoring network of the Vesuvius Volcano Observatory, also responsible to monitor the Phleg Phlegrian fields, has detected an increase in microseismic activity already since October this year. In total, there have been 212 peak tremor, weak tremors in the area of the caldera. 126 quakes of these occurred between Pozzuoli and so Frata Piscarelli in the Gulf of Pizzoli. Other parameters of volcanic unrest also remain above normal. Ground inflation is slowly, but has totaled 87 centimeters since 2005. Gas emissions also in can continue to increase after having been on the decrease during the previous months. Now this concerns especially carbon dioxide because we're all being taxed on it. And it's an early indicator also of fresh magma arriving at depth and measured in the area of the Piscarelli fumaroles. Whether the current phase of unrest is a sign of new magma accumulating and possibly getting ready for an eruption is far from certain. According to many scientists, the phenomena could be part of the normal behavior of the caldera, which is characterized by so-called Bradyism cycles. These are sustained periods of alternating slow ground up and downlift. They're caused by gradual fluctuations or changes in temperature composition or other properties of the very large hydrothermal system beneath the volcano. But what we've learned with recent papers in recent days and what you can see from this graph, which is the inflation graph at Campi, Feregri, there are no cycles. And it has been continuously uplifting since 2014 and increasing uh, in speed since the middle of 2017. This is very rapid inflation and so that's what's happening now this volcano is extremely significant because it may be responsible for the final demise of the neanderthals one of the largest eruptions in the last 40,000 years the campanian ignimbrite well 40,000 years ago one of the largest volcanic cataclysms in europe injecting a significant amount of sulfur dioxide into the air and wait until you hear about uh, the size of this eruption. We'll get to some of those dynamics. But also happening at the same time is mass extinctions. At the same time this volcano goes off, also a huge dip in the magnetic field in Earth. Does that, any of that sound familiar? <laughs> Campi, Flegri. The last known eruption was 1538, quite a bit ago. And that was a VEI-3 eruption. It has erupted to VEI-7. That's the Campanian Igenbright, and we're going to talk about that, and also VEI-5, 2150 BC. So it's been a long time since one of these uh, calderas exploded, and it looks like the main caldera, well, is potentially the one to go here. Do you see that region? That's what we're talking about. So let's just uh, show you what geographically where that is. Here's Naples. So we are on... We're in southwestern Italy. I thought I had a map up here. Okay, here it is. We're in southwestern Italy off of the Tyrrhenian Sea, south of Rome. And here is the Campi Fregli supervolcano. And these are old uh, calderic explosions. The Campagnian Ignimbrite is one of these large holes. And it was a quite a spectacular eruption. Now, there are dozens of other um, calderas here from other eruptions, dozens of them. This baby has been erupting for tens of thousands of years, if not longer. It could be one of the main conduits to the core of our planet. Now, as far as the volcanic eruptions, the Campanian Igenbrite from, it says here, 36,000 years ago, that has been since changed and updated in new papers that we're about to share with you. The Napoleon tough explosion uh, during the right before the Younger Dryas about 15,000 years ago. Now take this dating with a grain of salt, but it's probably close. 
And, it, and we know that 40,000 years ago, the end of the Neanderthal and a mass extinction on Earth also coincided with a magnetic excursion. Now, the Campanian Ingenbreit volcanic eruption was the most explosive in Europe in the last 200,000 years. The event coincided with the onset of extremely cold climate phase known as the Heinrich event number four, approximately 40,000 years ago. Now, the eruption itself probably only cooled the planet for a few years, but the size of the eruption was literally insane, covering 1.4 million square miles in ash. <laughs> this is the dispersal deposits during the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption 40,000 years ago. In some areas near the eruption in Italy was covered with greater than 50 meters of ash. But you can see a 20 meter ash layer over thousands of square miles way into Russia. So pretty interesting eruption, changing the dynamics of planet Earth completely. Now, more recently, the Neapolitan yellow tuff caldera forming eruption, this happened around 15,000 years ago, and it is equally as significant. It covered an area larger than 1,000 square kilometers with an estimated volume of 40 cubic kilometers of erupted magma. That is insane. So the potential for the eruption at this uh, volcano is epic, and that's simply why we're bringing you up to speed on what's going on with the supervolcano Campi Fregri. Now, the recent papers on supervolcanic eruptions are telling us that events like these are not precursors to the eruption. It is, in fact, impossible probably to predict supervolcanic eruptions. When they want to go, they blow. And the cycles that lead up to the eruption is what charges that system that at any moment can go boom. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We're keeping a co close eye on the largest supervolcano and the largest eruption in Europe for the last 200,000 years. Well, it's waking up potentially. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like minded people and be safe. We love you. Oh, yeah, become a Patreon.